Okay, so let me start out by saying this is not a true unboxing. I uh, got this when I got home last night. Um, it was on my doorstep from Amazon, the, uh, the Idea Pipe Briarwood. And uh, I just had to open it up right away. So <laughs> I just had to see what was inside it, um, starting on the project today. So not a true unboxing, but um, we opened it up. And, uh, of course, it was all wrapped in plastic, but uh, really nicely packaged protection. Um, We've got two uh, bent vulcanite stems, so uh, actually look uh, really, really nice uh, right out of the box. And we have our pre-drilled uh, briar wood blanks. So we've got um, our holes drilled there and uh, really um, nice, nice piece of briar. And uh, we're going to see if we can turn this into a pipe. So for starters, I'm going to use my uh, dad's model 69 k woody uh, to to draw a circle on the top here um, it just fits uh, fits on the block nicely so i'm going to use that as my guide and we're just going to uh, draw a little little circle around around that so it gives us something to um, to use as the guide uh, when we're removing the waste part of this briar block. So, let's see what we got there. Yeah, that'll be just fine. So we're going to uh, now take um, take that outside part off, and we're going to start um, putting this together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, make some lines, some center lines uh, on each face, so we can. Start rounding that around. Have a reference point uh, on each face uh, to know what we're kind of what we're going toward. So now we've got our our marks uh, along the uh, the faces there. Give us a a guide point. And you know I don't have all the tools in the world um, in my garage, so uh, we are going to see what we can do uh, with a basic Dremel and uh, sanding down and sanding to get the shape. So now we're done with the rough shaping. We've got the um, you know, the basic outlines of the pipe. The stem fits in uh, nicely, so we're going to have a nice uh, bent stem uh, pipe. And uh, now we start working all the little rough spots off, uh, start smoothing it out, and then we'll uh, work on our way to, to uh, dyeing it the particular color. So we started off with some uh, 240 grit sandpaper and then 320, uh, then used the uh, micro fiber, uh, micro mesh pads, uh, and you can even see uh, some of the reflection there. Uh, we went up to uh, 12,000 grit on the uh, micro mesh. Uh, looks actually quite, rather nice right now, uh, not even uh, completely finished. Um, we're going to have a uh, um, leather dye that I, uh, we put on that, but uh, obviously uh, we can smoke that right now, but uh, we'll finish that up soon and I uh, think we'll have a nice looking pipe. Okay, so I have to admit I got a little excited and went ahead and started the dyeing process before I uh, was able to get my camera set up. So uh, I've done several coats of this already. I'm going to do another coat here uh, for the sake of the uh, video. Uh, but really just got some of the um, this uh, leather dye. I don't know if it's fibings or feebings, uh, but this seems to be the stuff that everybody is recommending uh, that you use as used for dyeing leather and, and can be used for dyeing wood as well. So got a couple of um, pipe cleaners and we're just going to uh, uh, put those in here just as a kind of something to, to hold on to uh, using another pipe cleaner. Spending that in half and uh, really just going to, to paint this on. Um, I've already done several coats 
uh, we're going to do another coat here, and uh, you can see it goes on very nice and wet, very shiny uh, initially. And um, in between coats, I've uh, sanded. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a moment with uh, one of the uh, microfiber, uh, or not microfiber, micro mesh uh, pads. And um, this will probably be the last uh, coat that we do uh, before then really starting to work through all of the micro mesh pads again to really work up the uh, shine. We'll finish it off with some carnauba wax and then we'll be good to go. We'll be ready to give this guy uh, a try here. So I'm just doing one more, one more coat uh, all the way around. Just getting that all there really nicely. Nice complete coverage with the pipe cleaner. And there's one other little step here that is kind of interesting. This is an alcohol-based dye. And so what I have found uh, on YouTube and uh, articles and things that uh, people have posted is that you want to burn this off. Uh, just want to heat this up and it will uh, burn off the alcohol and really help set the dye. So it's going to take a quick uh, hit with the uh, hit with the flame that will burn off uh, any of the alcohol and really helps to to set the dye in the wood. And obviously not setting the wood on itself on fire, but just um, really kind of uh, bring that alcohol off and getting the dye to set uh, nicely there. So um, we're really, really pretty good with that. And, and there we go. So we're going to uh, give that a little, just a little pat down. Um, we got um, a t-shirt here to use. We're gonna pat down uh, any excess, uh, and then we're gonna start our, our sanding process. So now we've got it um, completely uh, kind of wiped down with the uh, micro mesh uh, cloths. Again, you can see a little bit of the uh, uh, the sheen that's on there. And so now what we're going to do is take a little uh, carnauba wax, uh, put on there with a uh, clean bit of cotton cloth here, uh, rub some carnauba wax in it, and uh, we should be should be pretty good to go. So. Uh, put a little carnauba on there, rub that in, and we're going to buff that up. And uh, yeah, boy, we got a really nice, a nice sheen on there with that carnauba. And we'll buff that up, and we'll be good to go. So um, you can see how that uh, carnauba is. Is going on there again you can really see the uh, the sheen on that and uh, we'll show you when show you when we're done and so here we are the uh, idea pipe idea briar uh, pipe we dyed it in black uh, we've got it waxed up um, no it's not the the greatest pipe in the world but uh, looks pretty decent and I'd say we're, we're ready for a smoke. So here we are with the first smoke with the Idea Pipe Briar that I purchased, worked up, and finished into this. So I'm going to load this up with a little bit of uh, good old Sir Walter Raleigh. And give it a first smoke, see how she does.
So it draws quite nicely for the, for the char light. Tamp that down a little bit. And we'll give it the regular light here. So far it draws just fine, so I think this is going to be an enjoyable smoker.